Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Whitney Houston! You better lay low. Welcome to another moment on the Malcolm Sorry's channel where we celebrate everything beautiful, fabulous, and a little ridiculous. I'm a survivor! Click subscribe to become a part of the moment. I'm very excited for today's moment because we're covering the greatest vocalist of all time. Let's get that straight, okay? Anyone who's from Jersey either has a, a Whitney story or connection. Uh, you know Pat and Gary through one of your cousins, even uh, Dion. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm very late to this trailer for the I Want to Dance with Somebody movie. Sony Pictures Entertainment, you know, girl, I just need y'all to do this correctly. There's an official trailer that came out two months ago. There's also now a second official trailer that came out two weeks ago from today. So I'm actually going to be reacting to both. Naomi Aki is the actress playing her. I have not heard of her, and I want to see how well this woman can really portray Whitney, because let me tell you something right now. There's a lot of but there's only one original. My favorite Whitney Houston song of all time is actually uh, He Fills Me Up. All the Man That I Need, stop it right now. The performance for the troops, the red dress, stop it. I can't. I want to know what your favorite Whitney Houston song is too. Leave that for me in the comments and we're going to get to this trailer right now. Look at Clive. The Whitney you never knew. Special guest in the audience tonight, legendary record Clive Davis. Mr. Clive Davis. Right. My voice is gone. What? Look at Sissy. You start the show tonight. No talking back. I'm your mother. I have goosebumps. There's a boy. I know. He's the one I dream of. So we have the actual vocals. Whitney Elizabeth Houston. That's right. Oh. Oh, it's the one, listen. Well, Newark, New Jersey. My dream, sing what I want to sing. That looked like Brandy. I say a prayer with every heartbeat. The cat suit, Sunny. Just as big an audience as I can. The track suit, Star Spangled. Oh, yeah. A uh, common criticism of you, your music isn't black enough. Look, I don't know how to sing black, and I don't know how to sing white either. I know how to sing. I know how to sing, period. That's right. Oh, it comes out this December. It's me dancing to the song when I just said it's my least <laughs> Whitney had some looks, girl. The Whitney you never knew. <laughs> I might have just heard the greatest voice of her generation. Of all time, baby. Don't make me cry up in here. That was the way to end it. That was the way to end it. Maybe. Maybe. It's got to have a hook. A hook? Yeah. I'll give it a hook. <laughs> Want a little hook? I'll give you a hook. I'm not gonna lie, I enjoyed that. I'm not gonna lie, I enjoyed that. I like how they ended it with the Star Spangled Banner. It seems like we're giving her her flowers and it also seems like we have the original music. So Pat Houston must be somewhere in here behind the scenes because uh, I know that wasn't this young woman's voice. That was very clearly the voice of God. <laughs> She's not trying to sing like Whitney. We're not having someone else try to sing like Whitney. We have Whitney's vocals. I really do feel like that makes a difference and acknowledge that this woman inspired every single artist who puts a microphone to their lips today, period. And that's just a fact. Yeah, no, this first trailer was interesting. Let's go to the second one and see if there's anything different that we didn't get in the first one. And then um, we'll circle back and do a little final recap. And I Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Whitney Houston! Houston! Common criticism of you, your music isn't black enough. Well, who said that? That's just bull. And it makes me angry, actually. It's hateful and uninformed. My whole life, she ain't black enough, she ain't white enough. Well, how about she's not obedient enough? How about she ain't fearful enough? You better act, girl. Oh, that almost gave me chills. Music is not a color to me. It has no boundaries. I sing what I want to sing, be how I want to be. It's and the hair. As as I can. 
She looks like Brandy in some angles. You can sing. Whitney, your daddy's Look at Bobby. Oh, that was her dad. So you just keep singing. Daddy. My money. Oh, not John. Oh. You want me to look out for me. For the holidays too? Yeah. You two have spent a lot of time together. It's damaging the brand. Since when did your little girl become the brand? I miss that. Oh. I'm worrying about it. You're Whitney Houston. Look at Bobby. What was it like? That love. Millions of people. Best woman I ever knew. Mm. to laugh at that i'm not gonna lie i'm impressed this actress is not playing she sounds like whitney a little bit she's she's got the the girl okay so now in this trailer what has been revealed is that they are going to go into her, the relationship with her father which was a very dicey situation just because of the management and the money and and the lawsuits i like that it's not so like and then she did a line of coke and everything went left. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't want it to look like, oh, the bathroom, you know, the shot of the bathroom with all the drugs and stuff on the thing. It's just like, can we focus on the voice and the career and the fact that this woman, you know, had to go through so many things. I'm a survivor. Her relationship with Clive, too. I always loved her relationship with Clive. I think that's going to be really cool to see their dynamic. They have the looks down pat. I'll say that, too. The hair and the and the gowns. Because one thing about Whitney. Great gowns. Beautiful gowns. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. She will give you a good short wig, a good crinkle uh, moment. She was very Newark, but she was very glamorous as well. December 21st, exclusively in movie theaters. I'm curious, are you going to be going to the theaters to see this? Because I think I might actually have to. If you enjoyed the trailer or the reaction, then give this video a thumbs up. We'll definitely be circling back on, on what's all going on here. And don't forget, I need to know what your favorite Whitney Houston song of all time is. Subscribe to the channel to become a part of the moment, and I will see you in the next video in the next experience and in the next moment. We love you, Whitney.